Cubs hosting the Rockies, and the Rockies are plus 200 on the money line. The Cubs are minus 245. Over under, nine runs. The Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 104, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two. It was supposed to be Wicks versus Flexen, and now it's Stroman versus Flexen. Flexen pitched twice against the Cubs. Uh, two and a third, eight runs, eight earned. They lost that game 14 to nine. Five and a third, three runs, three earned. They won that game six to four. He struck out five. They are one and four in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 3.8, averaging four and two thirds innings pitched and four strikeouts per game in those games. Strawman pitched twice against the Rockies last year. Seven innings, one run, one earned, five strikeouts, 85 pitches, four innings, Five earned runs, four strikeouts, 80 pitches. In his last three starts against them, five and two-thirds innings pitched, four hits, two earned runs, four strikeouts, 1.7 walks, 0.7 home runs, and 85 pitches. That's the law of averages. They are two and three in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 4.4, averaging four innings pitched and 3.8 strikeouts per game. The over is 4-0-1 and one in his last five starts, and the over has hit in his last two starts. Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The Rockies are 6-4 and four against the Cubs. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2. and two. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The under has hit in their last seven games. The under is 8-2 and two in their last 10. However, the over 9 is 5-4-1. The Rockies are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and they are on a five-game losing streak. And the Cubs are three and seven in their last 10, and they are two and two in their last four. And I think the Rockies have more to gain by losing these games than they do by winning as far as uh, draft lottery is concerned for next year. I'm going to take the Cubs with the money line. I'm going to take the Cubs laying the runs, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.